This section is about defining your main goals. We've talked about goals quite a bit and goals need to be SMART, which is measurable, SMART. I'll give you the acronym for that in a bit. But ideally your goals need to be something you can actually hit. You know, the example I gave in the last section on pause. The example I gave in the last section uh, was about being an Olympic gymnast and you've never climbed on anything before. It's not a real good goal for you because it's something that in all likelihood you may not be able to do. Prove me wrong, but uh, I wouldn't expect you to be able to do something you've never done before to that magnitude. Launching a business, you may have never done that before. Doesn't mean you can't. You just have to follow the right goals and understand the steps it needs to take in order for those goals to be achievable. And the thing of it is with goals, there's short-term goals, there's medium goals, and then there's those long-term goals. And clarity around how long it takes you to reach those goals is going to be important for you because you want to be able to be successful. Because if you start establishing goals and you're not hitting any of them, the likelihood of you wanting to continue is slim and none and slim left town. Um, as we've heard Stephen Covey talk about things, you want to put big rocks in uh, the goal planning first. So eat the frog first, all those uh, leadership things that we've heard about in life. Get big goals that you know you're going to hit, but they're going to take some time. And you start putting uh, time and effort into those things. Now, as far as goals are concerned and how many you should have, you're going to want to keep it manageable because if you have 40 goals, you're not going to accomplish many of them because you're going to be spread way too thin. Pick two or three. And they can be a mixture of long-term goals, short-term goals, and medium-range goals. I've had goals. I had a goal to launch a business. I did. How long did it take? Longer than I wanted it to but it worked. Why? Because I learned, I studied, I had coaches, lots of trial and error. Uh, if I had hair, I probably would have pulled it out three or four times. But at the end of the day, the business is getting to where I want it to be. Is it where I want it to be long-term? Of course not, but it's getting there. And it's because I'm taking the necessary steps, doing the things that I want to do, pausing and reflecting and say, okay, this goal that I had for the business to be doing this, I'm approaching it. Do I still want that to be the goal? Because if not, then we need to change the goals. And guess what? You have the permission to change your mind. I know that's something that we don't often hear when you're establishing things. You can change your mind. You can say, no, I'm not going to use that platform or I'm not going to use that product or service. I'm going to use something else because it works better for me. And that oftentimes comes with experience and in, in learning the things that you need to learn. I alluded to earlier SMART goals. So S stands for specific. Your goals have to be specific. Um, they've got to be measurable, the M and SMART. Um, A stands for action-focused. You got to do something. You can't wave a magic wand and say, poof, there it is, it's done. No, with anything, there's action involved. Your involvement in this is, is crucial. Uh, R has to be relevant. It's got to be something that's beneficial to you, and it's actually going to be relevant to you, your customers, or whatever you're trying to do with these goals. And T, ooh, T is a big one. Um, it's got to be time specific. You got to hold yourself accountable. You can say, okay, I want to write a book. Awesome. Write it. When's it going to be done? I don't know. Well, I don't know is a long, long way away. Uh, I think it's uh, the town next to Neverland. So you need to be specific and, and set a time. If you don't hit it, don't beat yourself up. But look and see why you didn't hit it. There could be circumstances. We could have a pandemic, for example, that puts things on hold. Yeah. No one anticipated that. It happened. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's happening. Uh, and there's a lot of things that we want to do that we can't right now. Doesn't mean we won't be able to. Just right now we can't. So during these times of can't doing or you know, we can't do something on our goals, 
it's important to look at, okay, what are some things that I can do? Instead of just throwing your arms in there, I can't do anything. Find something you can, something that moves the rock forward, even by an inch, or if you're Canadian, a centimeter. Whatever the case may be, you want to make sure that you are moving forward, even if it's slow, and you have those smart goals that you can actually get done. I've seen some other things where they've extended smart into smarter. So there's an ER, which is not emergency room, uh, although that is an acronym for it. Um, but E stands for exciting and enjoyable. When you set a goal, does it excite you? Is this something you want to do? Does it motivate you? Because if it doesn't, what's the likelihood of you actually accomplishing it? Because if you're not motivated by it and you don't, are not excited and you don't really you look forward to it, then, okay, why are you doing it? So you want to make sure that your goals are exciting to you and you enjoy the process, or if you're Canadian process, of the journey of working through your goals. And R stands for revise. Yes, you have permission to change your mind. You have permission to tweak things. You're supposed to. Um, if you are cooking dinner and you realize that you had the pan temperature on the stove too high and you burn dinner and you're going to make the same meal tomorrow, if you don't revise your cooking plans, you're going to burn your dinner tomorrow. So you need to build in revisions and stops and pauses along the way in order to be able to be successful in your goals. Love to hear about your goal planning and reach out to me if you need anything on establishing some goals, some templates, whatnot. Till next time, be well.